Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Uh, let's solve this problem from engineering dynamics. The problem says that the package has a weight of 5 pounds and slides down the chute. When it reaches the curved portion AB, it is traveling at 8 feet per second when theta is equal to 0. And if the chute is smooth, determine the speed of the package when it reaches intermediate point c equals to uh, theta equals to 30 degrees and when it uh, reaches the horizontal plane theta equals to 45 degrees also find the normal force on the package at c so now let's say that uh, we are going to find the generalized equation for the velocity of this package at any instant between a and b so let's say that we are considering the free body diagram of the package at somewhere between A and B. And let's say that we are measuring uh, the position of this theta from this horizontal. Let's say that this is our x axis. Let's say we are measuring the position of this package uh, in terms of angle from this horizontal x axis. Right? So uh, when the package is somewhere here, so the the angle phi, let's say that this is given as terms of theta. So let's say that we are measuring the position of the package uh, by this phi value. So when this package is at point A, so the phi value is 45 degrees since this whole angle is 90 degree. And if this is 45, then this is 45. And let's say that the package is somewhere here. Let's say if the package is somewhere here, then this angle is again phi. But this phi will be greater than 45. So let's say that I consider the free body diagram of this package and let's say that the package is at, uh, at an angle of phi, right? So we need to define our coordinate system. Let's say that this will be our tangential axis that is in the direction of motion and the normal axis will be towards the center. So this is towards the center. So this is the normal direction. So the weight of the package is acting vertically downwards. So this is the weight or I can write here this weight. So if I extend the line of action of this weight, so it is going to make 90 degree with this horizontal x axis. And this tangential axis is making 90 degree with the normal axis. Right. So if the angle between these two lines is phi, then the angle between these two, this weight and this tangential axis is also phi. So this is phi as well. And this is that weight, which is 5 pounds, right? So now if I resolve this weight into its components, so we will have two components. One of the weight component will be acting in this direction and this one will be the cost component. So we can say that this is phi cos of phi and one of its component will be acting like this. This is the sine component. So this is phi sine of phi. And the surface will apply the normal force on this package as well and that normal force will be acting vertically upward. So let's say that this is that normal force which will be acting in the positive end direction. So let's say this is n. So now if I apply uh, the summation of forces along the tangential axis equals to m a t. So as we can see that uh, this cost component of the weight is acting in the positive direction of t. So we will write that this is phi cos of phi and there is no other force along the tangential axis. So this will be equal to the mass. So the weight is 5. So we have to divide it by g value which is 32.2 and a t. So, 5 will cancel out. So, we can say that a t is equal to 32.2 cos of phi. So, the tangential acceleration is the function of phi. So, let's say this is my equation 1. Now, if I apply the summation of forces along the normal axis, that will be equal to m a n. So, as we can see that this normal is acting in the positive n direction. So I will write n and this sine component is acting in the negative n axis. So I will write minus 5 sine of phi and this will be equal to mass. So again mass is 5 divided by 
and a n so a n is v square divided by rho the radius of the curvature so now we are asked to find de determine the speed of the package when it reaches at intermediate point when theta is equal to 30 degrees so in this theta is equal to 30 degrees we are required to find the velocity right so when theta equals to 30 degrees then phi will be equal to at <laughs> from here to here if the package is at point c so then this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees so then at that particular instant the phi will be 45 plus 30 right so then we can say that initial position of phi let's say is phi 1 so then phi will be equal to phi 1 plus 30 degrees so this is 45 plus 30 degrees is equal to 75 degrees so now we need to find the velocity at 45 degrees right but since here we are required to find the velocity and the acceleration is a function of phi so we have to find the velocity at that particular instant so we can use the equation of kinematics so we can say that v dv is equal to a t ds we can use this equation and a t is equal to this thing which is 32.2 cos of phi and if you want to integrate this so the initial velocity is 8 which is given when theta is equal to 0 when theta is equal to 0 uh, phi, phi is 45 degrees remember right so when this is 45 degrees right and we want to find velocity and the final velocity is let's say phi right so as we can see that this tangential acceleration is a function of phi and the integration with respect to ds so we can say that s is equal to r theta as we know then ds will be equal to r d theta so we can replace this ds by r d theta this is r d theta and when package is at point c the radius is 20 feet remember so this is given and at, at the intermediate position the r will not be 20 feet since we do not know that if this curvature is uh, circular curvature or not but at point c we are given that the radius of curvature is 20 so i can put this r as 20 so this is 20 and if i multiply this with 32.2 so 32.2 into 20 is 644 so we can say that this is 644 cos of phi and this is if if we are using phi then this is phi as well so this is d phi right? so this is d phi so this is d phi so now when we integrate this this is from a to v v dv now when i integrate this so this is v square divided by 2 from a to v and this is 644 and when i integrate this so this is sine of phi from 45 degrees to phi and when we put these limits so this will be v square divided by 2 minus 8 square divided by 2 and this is 644 and if i put these limits this is sine of phi minus sine of 45 and this is uh, 8 square is 64 and 64 divided by 2 is 32 this is 32 and if i bring this minus 32 to the other side so this will become plus 32 right and if i multiply both side by 2 then this will be v square will be equal to 2 times this thing so we are required to find the velocity when theta equals to 30 degree and when theta equals to 30 degree phi is 75 so if i put uh, phi equals to 75 degrees then v will be equal to vc right the velocity at point c so then we can say that vc square will be equal to if i put 45 uh, 75 phi so I will put it directly in calculator. So this will be 2 into 644 
sin of 75 minus sin of 45 plus 32 so this gives me 397.358 397.358 and if I take the square root of the answer so the velocity at point C is 19.93 feet per second then we were asked to find find the velocity when it reaches the horizontal plane when theta is 45 degree so when it reaches here so phi will be this complete one right so then the phi will become 90 degrees so when theta is 45 degrees our phi is uh, 90 degrees since our velocity is a function of phi so again we can find that velocity so now when I put that phi in that equation as 90 degrees so then in that case the velocity b square will be equal to 441.25 if we put phi equals to 90 degree in this equation then we get 441.25 and if i take the square root of the answer so this will be the velocity at point b so the velocity at point b is 21 feet per second and in the problem statement we are also required to find the normal force on the package at C only so <coughs> this is our equation let's say this is our equation 2 so using equation 2 we can find the normal force at point C so <coughs> from this equation we can say that n is equal to 5 divided by 32.2 v square divided by rho and if I bring this to the other side so it will become plus 5 sine of 45 uh, sine of phi so we want to find the normal force at c so this will be c the velocity c rho c and at c phi is 75 again so we need to put this as 75 so then this will be 5 5 divided by 32.2 and the velocity at C is 19.93 square divided by rho C the radius of the curvature at point C is 20 plus 5 sine of phi so phi is 75 this is 5 into 19.93 square divided by 32.2 into 20 plus 5 sine of 75 so the and c is the the normal force on the package at point c is 7.91 7.91 pounds so this is the solution of uh, this particular problem kindly subscribe my channel if you want me to solve such more problem also like this video this will help me a lot